This video is a continuation of this video. You see, this video and that video is about my five days in London. This video is about my two first day in London, while this video that you have up right now is about day three, four and five. If you haven't seen day one and two, click on that video first. But if you have already seen that, then welcome to this part. So now, how did day three start? Let's have a tour of what we get in the bathroom. A bath and shower deal, a shampoo, and body lotion, hand and body lotion, a shower cap. And I guess that's some kind of soap or something. A manicure set <laughs> and soap. Yay! After that, we went down to Mad Hatter's own bar and food house and ate brunch there. <laughs> Mad Hatter's speciality is ale and pie. So we ordered some pie. I didn't order pie though. I ordered fish and chips because I wanted fish and chips. So that's why I bought fish and chips. When our tummies was full and happy, we went out on new adventures in London. Our destination to visit first this day was Chinatown. But before we found Chinatown, we found some other awesome stores that we went into. One of those was a shop with comics, manga and toys. And inside that shop I saw something that made me squeal inside. I never see anything with Homestuck in any stores in Sweden. In this shop they didn't sell anything with Homestuck what I saw, but they just had that painting just to acknowledge everybody that they also loved Homestuck at that store. And after that happy visit we went right into Chinatown. After walking across Chinatown, we continue our little journey until we reached... Where are we right now? We are at... Chukavokaduda! Yay! Do you know what Chukavokaduda is? If you do, then great. If you don't, I will try to shortly explain to you. Wonderland is like no other place with lots of imagination and things you would not even think of. I don't have to explain Wonderland to you, you know what Wonderland is. And the owner to this store has her own Wonderland inside, which surely shows in all the chocolate things she has in the store. Her chocolate store is so special that it has an own TV show where you get to see the orders they get from different celebrities and how this transform their ideas into reality in body of chocolate. We both love that TV show and that's why we had to visit their store in London. We bought this at chocolate. So... After eating the chocolate we had bought in Shokiwoki, we continue our journey towards Oxford Street. What is bicycling and bicycling but doesn't go anywhere? Well, the answer is... After reaching Oxford Street, I just didn't have time to film or take pictures of anything, so... Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> On the way back to hotel, we returned to Chinatown, where we bought some buns. It was kind of like dumplings, but bigger, and they were so delicious. After that, we returned to the hotel after another awesome day in London. Spacey has been shopping today. Here's the thing from Shoka Wokaduda. And something from a, a, well, a bookstore that sells comics. Manga, a gallery and toys. And what I bought in here I will not tell you because it's a present to someone. And then at the Disney store I bought this cup. 
and then at Primark I bought this. That's uh, like uh, perfumes, small perfumes, and a shower gel that smells like vanilla and wild rose. However, when I have gone to bed, I suddenly realized something. I had bought presents to people in a special store and that bag was not with me back home. I looked everywhere, in every bag, like fine times, but it was nowhere. I must have lost it somewhere in some bathroom on some cafe somewhere. That fact kind of gave me a tummy ache because it was not that very cheap things either. Now time for day four. Postcard writing time. Brunch. And yeah, the Mad Hatter for going out on adventure again. Our adventure this day started with that I returned to that store and bought that things again that I have lost the other day. After I had bought those things again, we went to Sea Life Aquarium. We had booked tickets the day before online, but even so, the line to get to the ticket desk was one hour long. However, the line didn't feel like one hour long, because beside the line they had wax dolls from Madame Tussaud. So the line didn't feel so long, because you had something to look at. <laughs> And so you could enjoy your weight by taking pictures together with them. And sooner than we thought, we were on our way into the depths of the aquarium.
well at the end in the gift shop, I bought this plushie for my nephew. I hope he will like it. It was already kind of late when we got out from the aquarium. And so we spent our last hours strolling around by the river road. Just enjoying life and all its beauty. Day 5. The last day. We shaked out from the hotel and started our suitcase walk towards town to find a place to eat breakfast. But on our way towards the bridge that will take us to the other side, we saw something. We saw this. And of course we had to take some posing pictures by the TARDIS. After that we went over the bridge for the last time. On our first day in London we had eaten breakfast at Café Rouge, if you remember. And so we did also the last day. Here's my last English breakfast before we took the subway train towards Heathrow. We enjoy the tax-free by looking at everything from Tiffany diamonds, clothes and candy and ate Italian food which we ended with English tea and Italian ice cream. Soon enough we were once again in the air and saw how the sun set over the clouds, how Sweden shined up towards us at night and late at night we landed in Gothenburg. We took the bus to into town and spent our night at the Clarion Hotel. The first thing that struck us was that everything was so fancy. They had a guard at the gate and every guest we met on the way had like suit on them and everything. And there we were in softy pants <laughs> with suitcases. It was a good night's sleep and a good breakfast in the morning at the hotel before we checked out and walked towards town. I had only one thing I had to do in Gothenburg before going home and that was visiting SF Bookstore. SF Bookstore stands for Science Fiction Bookstore and is my favorite bookstore in the world. If you visit Sweden one day, you have to visit SF Bookstore. After enjoying Gothenburg for our last hours there, we took the train and went back home. It felt good to come home again, but also kind of sad because we had so much fun in London. And we both want to return one day to discover more of London. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Take your thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I see you soon. Bye!